Hello and welcome to Gus McDoll Games. I'm Nick McDoll and today we're playing Iron Weasel, the fifth mission in the NATO campaign in Naval War Arctic Circle. Naval War Arctic Circle is based on a hypothetical Great Arctic War set in 2030 and fought in the North Atlantic, Arctic, Baltic and the North Sea. The NATO campaign covers the Great Arctic War as experience from the Northern Partnership and NATO alliances. In Iron Weasel, I must defend Scandinavian lands installations against suppression of enemy air defence attack. Each mission starts with a news article to give us some context. The Daily Global Courant, Wednesday 4 September 2030. Land war in Northern Europe not inconceivable. Sources claim Russia mobilising large forces in St. Petersburg area, Kaliningrad. As the Arctic war continues, analysts warn of events in Northern Europe spinning out of control. Please pause the video if you'd like to read the full article, and while you're doing so, don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more great content. Okay, so episode 5, Iron Weasel. In preparing for an invasion, the attacker is first going to launch a CAD, Suppression of Enemy Air Defences, operation. This means taking out airfields and air defence systems, and our objectives are to defend the airfields. Okay, so we have a small surface contact. We have to destroy at least 20 enemy aircraft and Runaby Airport must survive. So we have a Boeing P-8A Poseidon in an anti-submarine warfare profile. Noting the altitude it's at, uh, it's going to make that um, anti-submarine warfare rather difficult at 7,500 metres. Um, but there it is in the Baltic. We have Stockholm Arlanda Air Base. Uh, it has... Um, Saab uh, JAS-39E Gripen aircraft will take two of them immediately, put them in a patrol pattern. Um, we'll put them into the into the Baltic, uh, to the entrance of the Gulf of Finland, to the northern part of the entrance of the Gulf of Finland. We'll take two more of these Gripens. We'll also put them in a patrol pattern slightly to the south, also covering that exit from the Gulf of Finland into the Baltic Sea. So back to our Poseidon. It's got a small surface contact there. We've detected it, but we haven't identified it yet. We'll move down to uh, to Runaby Air Base, have a look what it's got. Um, we'll put two Gripens, uh, put them in a patrol pattern. Um, what's happening around here? So we'll put them in a patrol pattern to the southwest of Gotland. Uh, we'll take another two uh, Gripens and put them in a patrol pattern to the southeast of uh, Gotland. Put another two Gripens. Uh, get them into a patrol pattern to the north um, of Runaby and somewhat to the southwest uh, of, of Stockholm. So this is the Visby, which is a Visby class Corvette, first in class, uh, part of our surface action, action group number one. Uh, this is the Visby. As you can see, it has a Bofors 57mm cannon with a 9 nautical mile range. Uh, for close-in air defence. RBS-15 surface fires with 135 nautical mile range. This will cover most of the Baltic Sea. And we also have Type 45 torpedoes with a 19 nautical mile range, which is good against any subsurface threats. In the surface action group, we also have the Eva Huitfeld, which is a frigate, guided missile frigate. the Eva Huitfeld. You can see some of its weapons there. So we've got some missiles coming in uh, already. We've got some detections of some what looks to be anti-ship missiles being launched from somewhere in the Gulf of Finland. These are P700 Granite or SS9, uh, SSN-19 shipwreck missiles and they look to be targeting our surface action group just from the angles. So we'll take some of these uh, Gripens, we'll increase their speed and we'll look to put them on an intercept course. Same with these Gripens here. We'll put them on an intercept course with the missiles, increase their speed, and get them into a defensive position. So having a look at Stockholm, we've got our Arlanda Air Base here. Uh, now the mission is called Suppression of Enemy Air Defense, and uh, part of that is the Sentinel Radar Group here. Uh, and you can see it's got an MPQ-64 Sentinel Radar with a 216 nautical mile range. So this is obviously one of the assets. The uh, enemy are likely to want to target uh, to force their way into the Baltic. Also you have RBS-23 surface-to-air missile batteries and this uh, battery here has 64 missiles at its disposal. 
um, for this battery 24 nautical mile range there's another rbs 23 battery here as well so stockholm is fairly well defended against uh, air targets okay So going back to the missiles, um, these are the shipwreck missiles. We also have P-1000 Vulcan missiles uh, inbound as well. And they've been detected from the Helsingborg and also from the Poseidon aircraft the, that we have in the air. So going back to Stockholm, we will um, see what we've got available. We've got... Um, what have we got? No, we've got some aircraft will be launching but we actually might take them off from Ronneby Airport where we've got some ready to go we've got aerial refueling um, and we can launch them a little bit later on okay so this is the Helsingborg a Visby class uh, Corvette similar to the Visby which is also in this scenario so it's got IBS uh, 15 missiles which it can, uh, it can also target surface contacts like this one here, which we've detected but not identified. Uh, we've marked it as hostile though, so we might get the RBS-15s and target that, uh, that surface contact. Okay, so three missiles away at that uh, surface contact to the south, and then we'll track what's happening. It has a, an Ericsson Sea Giraffe uh, radar. We'll get the GDC hull mounted sonar working. It's got a Hydro Science Technologies towed array sonar. We'll deploy that and activate the sensor um, to check against any subsurface threats to this uh, Corvette. Okay, back to Ronaby. Having a look at what we've got here, we've got a couple of aircraft ready to launch, so we'll get them going. And we'll put them in a patrol pattern to the east of Gotland, covering the uh, main approach down the Baltic Sea. So this is the group here. Taking off, they've got 12 AMRAMs and 4 Sidewinders between them. We'll increase their speed. Okay, and there'll be about 12 minutes to get to that location. So here's our surface action group heading up to the uh, northwest and it looks like they're definitely the target for that barrage of missiles that is coming from them from some surface contact somewhere in the Gulf of Finland. Okay, you can see the P-1000 Vulcan missiles. We've got our Gripens moving in towards an intercept. Our other pair of Gripens here. Okay, we'll get the... it's got a Raven, a uh, sub Selex Galileo Raven radar with 216 nautical mile range as well as pirate infrared with 22 nautical mile range so we might uh, activate the raven see what we can detect and particularly are looking for these uh, surface um, surface assets that have launched these missiles we've got 12 amrams between the two craft we can start to, to, to uh, target these incoming missiles with some of those and attrit that barrage early We're quite fortunate in one sense that the adversary has launched this barrage quite early and before they've achieved their superiority because this gives us the best possible chance to use our Gripens to uh, gradually whittle down that uh, missile barrage and mean that our surface action group has less to shoot down if, it, if indeed the, uh, the missiles get that far. So you can see now we're launching a number of AMRAMs at these uh, missile groups, that will, um, that will be very helpful increase the height and see if we can improve our detection capability into the Gulf of Finland see if we can get uh, any surface assets because they seem to still be launching these missiles and here we go here we have the detections a helicopter detection a fixed wing aircraft large con uh, contact and the Admiral Kuznetsov group and, um, and another fixed wing aircraft group it's been detected so going back to Stockholm, we've got more aircraft ready to launch, so we'll uh, put uh, two more of them in a patrol between the Helsingborg and the Kuznetsov. And uh, having a look here at the Admiral Kuznetsov group, you can see that the okay the Helsingborg's now fired its RBS-15s at the uh, Kuznetsov, which will give them something to worry about. And that's the primary strike capability of the Helsingborg now expended on those two target sets. 
Uh, okay, um, all of the AMRAMs are now expended, so we'll get these guys tracking in with their sidewinders on the, um, the missile targets. Here, and you can see some of the AMRAMs starting to track in and successfully knock out some of these missiles inbound, which is good news. Okay, this second group, still plenty of AMRAMs, 10 AMRAMs, so they can target that first group there of uh, shipwreck missiles. We'll get, um, hopefully as many AMRAMs can attrit these missiles as possible. Okay, more missiles out. And uh, more of the enemy's missiles being uh, knocked out by the AMRAMs. Okay, this group is down to its sidewinders. We're getting additional detections uh, in vicinity of that uh, enemy surface action group there. Okay. So just checking our ESSM range and our SM2 range for our surface action group. Um, there's an aircraft coming almost within uh, SM2 range. Okay, the uh, Kamov K27 enemy helicopter has been shot down, which is good news. Reduces their situational awareness. We're getting more fixed wing aircraft contacts coming in, uh, but our current uh, Gripens are really just going for this missile group while they can. We've got a detection here, um, not identified, but uh, detected as hostile and inbound on the surface action group, so we're going to have to need to do something about that fairly soon. Okay, we've got the Visby Corvette. It's got uh, Bofors, it's got its RBS 15s out of range for the moment for the main surface action group of the enemy. And Eva Huertfeld has got its SM2s, which could be useful against this inbound aircraft, but it's also that's this is the main protection against the missiles. Now we've got an anti aircraft missile coming in from the enemies, as well as um, what looks like a uh, S300 Grumble surface to air missile. And we'll we'll uh, target this uh, Gripen against that air target there while we keep tracking the anti-air missiles coming in on our, our platforms. AMRAM missiles just downed another uh, of the enemy's barrage. Okay, our first group of Gripen, they're running out of uh, fuel, so they're, they're heading straight for home. Track the lead ship in the, uh, the formation. It's got a missile inbound on it right now. It puts out flares and successfully evades. Uh, the second uh, aircraft is in trail. And unfortunately it's shot down probably by the S-300. So going back to the remaining aircraft, uh, yep, it's down to its sidewinders. Uh, these aircraft have, have expanded all their AMRAMs, they're now down to their sidewinders, so we'll get them tracking in, increase their speed, and get them intercepting missiles. And you can see the surface action group has fired RIM-66 standard MR SM-2 missiles at that air contact to keep it away. A uh, bit worried about the uh, Poseidon here, which is a little bit exposed to, to the enemy air action. Um, but we'll come back to that in a moment. Okay, these Gripens are now have expended all their fuel, but they still have Sidewinders left. So I really don't like that um, those Sidewinders could have been put to good use. So I'll use them to quickly target some missiles before they head back to Stockholm to refuel. So get them to expend their Sidewinders. Um, now we've got a Gripen heading to the northeast here. It's still got, uh, it's got 12 AMRAMs between them, so what we might do is, um, I will leave that for now, but we'll increase its speed, see if we can get into a better intercept position. We have an enemy air detection, but not identification, it looks like a large aircraft contact. Okay, we've got our SM2s going after that air contact in the, uh, and this group is uh, heading up from Ronaby, heading to the north um, to patrol near Stockholm Airport to bolster their air defences. Okay, our Gripens need to be launching their sidewinders anytime now. So we'll get them to launch normally, and then we'll immediately give them return to home so they don't run out of fuel. Uh, again, with the second ship in the formation, manually target with the sidewinders, and immediately we'll get him to return to home. Okay, so uh, a number of missiles still tracking slowly towards their targets. Uh, we've got some surface uh, S-300 surface-to-air missiles uh, tracking towards the RBS-15s from the Admiral Kuznetsov group. You can see them still launching here in the background. 
and you can see uh, what looks to be the coastline of the Gulf of Finland in the uh, in the far distance there. Okay, we've shot down an Su-35. Uh, that was probably from the uh, surface action group. So that's the first of the enemy aircraft. We have to knock down 20, and that's the very first of them to go. So we'll increase this. Um, we'll get that uh, aircraft group here, increase its speed, and move it on an intercept. Um, and we'll do the same with this one. We'll put it on an intercept uh, course with these missiles. Um, put this one in a blocking position for um, one of these uh, air assets, and also turn on its Raven radar so it can improve its detection capabilities. Increasing its height also helps it to detect things with radar. Okay. So back to Stockholm. We've got some aerial refueling craft. We've got some Gripens that will be ready to launch in about 15 minutes. Uh, it's good to know, but nothing to launch just yet. Okay, RBS 15. Okay, we've lost a Jazz uh, 39E Gripen, which is unfortunate. Um, what we'll do is we'll reroute these uh, Gripens into an intercept position, take the AMRAMs and target that air group because that enemy air group is getting dangerously close to our, one of our Gripens, uh, which now has no missiles to defend itself, and it also seemed like it's on an intercept course with the Poseidon. So launching these AMRAMs against that will give it something to think about. Uh, we'll also launch against the helicopter. Um, always like to degrade anti-submarine warfare and situational awareness from the enemy by knocking out their helicopters. Okay, there's also a fixed wing air group. Okay, some anti-aircraft missiles, um, AA missiles going out against the RBS-15s. Our Gripen is uh, rapidly, two Gripens rapidly tracking back to Stockland, uh, Stockholm Airport to uh, refuel rearm. From Stockholm we'll take Okay, we've got another 15 minutes for these guys, so we'll take the available ready aircraft, select them, and we'll um, we'll put them in a patrol position to the northeast of Stockholm again to uh, cover the airport and also the Helsingborg uh, Corvette, which has expended most of its useful ammunition. It's effectively not in the fight anymore other than as a target. Its RBS-15s are tracking to the south, though. We've got the other RBS-15 group still moving in the, on the Kuznetsov, so things are developing fairly quickly. Okay, another detection, and we've lost one of our RBS-15s, leaving us now with one inbound to the enemy. Okay, we'll launch against that fixed-wing air group. We'll track the AMRAMs going uh, down um, towards that surface contact. Okay, and looking at the RBS-15s, a Project Vicar they're targeting there. It's been identified as the... Uh, and it's destroyed. The Project 206 MR Vikra has been uh, sunk. So that clears that area to the northwest of Gotland. Uh, we've knocked down two enemy aircraft so far. We've got more missiles outbound. Okay, once again targeting. Okay, and AMRAM's going in on the uh, Kamov KA-27 which uh, you can see the uh, the fleet it's supporting there in the middle distance. Um, just on the horizon there is the uh, Kuznetsov group. And the helicopter is shot down. Okay, moving back to this group. Still five AMRAMs, so they'll target the air. Uh, one of these air groups here. Target the fixed wing large contact because that may be uh, moving into a position to launch land attack against Stockholm. We've got AMRAMs tracking on this air target, still lots of missiles. Uh, the Poseidon now, we can probably take that down to a more useful altitude for anti-submarine warfare. I'm a bit worried, uh, however, about the air contact, the Su-35, so we'll get uh, we'll get launches on that one to um, prevent that Su-35 from targeting the Poseidon if we can. Um, we'll use this uh, group here to, these groups, we'll, we'll um, put them in position to, um, to target the uh, inbound missiles. Okay, and these guys are uh, Bingo Fuel, returning to Runnaby Air Base, but they're still full of missiles. So we'll see if we can't launch some missiles um, at the uh, incoming 
some AMRAMs at the incoming um, missile groups. We've shot down a MiG-29, so we're now our tally's up to three aircraft. We've got an AMRAMs in on a Sukhoi T-50K. And it uh, pops flares and evades, but it's got another AMRAM coming in on it. Another detection of a fixed-wing aircraft group. And we've shot down the Sukhoi T-50, which now gives us four kills out of the 20 we need uh, as our objective for the scenario. Okay, more AMRAMs inbound on enemy air targets. One over the Kuznetsov itself, uh, tracking towards the large contact, which looks like a refueling vessel of some kind, a refueling aircraft. Okay, these uh, Gripens... Um, Still running back, this, this pair here has eight hand rams, so we'll get them to target the inbound missile groups, the P-1000 Vulcans. Um, start trying to attrit those targets so we make life easier for the surface action group. We've got an AMRAM coming in um, on the SU-35. Uh, we've also got an air-to-air -air tracking onto the Poseidon, which probably won't end well. Um, SU-35 has got an AMRAM. It's gone to afterburner to try and evade. And it's shot down, making our tally now five aircrafts out of the 20 that we need. And I'm still seeing that uh, the Gripen's here launching. Uh, they've run out of AMRAMs, uh, so they've got Sidewinders, and we'll get them to launch Sidewinders if they can against the uh, the air threat, but they're also trying to evade air-to-air -air missiles themselves. Okay, the Gripen here. Launches flares and evades, but then he's shot down by a second missile. It's unfortunate. Okay, this Gripen's heading back to home. This one's coming out to play. Get in on an intercept course. We've uh, shot down six enemy aircraft now. Um, this one's, uh, yep, coming out here. It's got AMRAMs and it's got uh, MiG-29s in just out of range. An unknown air group that'll move to intercept. Uh, looks like we've lost our Poseidon at some point. Get this uh, aircraft group one AMRAM left and four Sidewinders. Uh, these guys have three AMRAMs left and four Sidewinders still targeting, and there we go, we've knocked out one missile group. We'll keep targeting some more of these missile groups as well. Just keep attriting them with the AMRAMs and then moving with the Sidewinders to, to reduce the number of inbound um, surface to surface fires against our, um, against our surface action group. So moving in with the Sidewinders now, using everything they've got. Okay, targeting with uh, the AMRAMs and firing that and then again moving in with the Sidewinders. Okay, Runnerby Air Base, uh, still waiting on uh, eight minutes or so to launch the, uh, the next aircraft, uh, which can provide cover for the surface action group and knock down even more of these missiles. These guys are still inbound, but they've got AMRAMs to spare, so we'll get them to target the AMRAMs. It's a risk. They may run out of fuel on their way back to Ronaby, but it's a risk I'm willing to take. Okay, unfortunately we've lost another Gripen to an enemy air-to-air -air missile. Uh, we've got our Gripen here. We'll now target with the AMRAMs. We can target this group and this group here. So we'll give them something to think about, um, keep them on their toes reacting to the AMRAMs. And you can see they're both going evasive. MiG-29 outside of range here. Okay, this group here is still tracking back towards their base, but they've still got AMRAMs. So we'll get them to expend their AMRAMs as far as possible and take the risk that they run out of fuel and crash. Okay, engaging now with Sidewinders. Okay, getting these guys to target with their AMRAMs. Spend them all. Okay, that's good. Target these ones still. Six AMRAMs left. And we've got some air-to-air -air action happening up in the north. 
as well um, as are treating these um, surface to surface fires the shipwreck missiles and the uh, and the Vulcans okay, this groups down to three AMRAMs and we've shot down another MiG 29K which brings our tally to seven aircraft Still got seven AMRAMs, so we'll target the MiG 29K that's moving to the southwest. We've got uh, looks like four AMRAMs on the other group, so that's enough. Moving down now into the Baltic again, um, our Runaby Air Base aircraft group still got two AMRAMs that they can usefully use. We'll get them to to target. Get this group to. It's still got three sidewinders, so we'll get them to target with their sidewinders. We've got some uh, missiles coming out from the surface action group, which is now starting to defend itself from its own surface air missiles. Uh, more sidewinders here. More of the enemy's uh, missiles getting shot down, which is good to see. Uh, and up here we've got our MiG-29K group, four AMRAMs inbound, uh, two aircraft in the group, passing the fleet, as you can see, to their uh, port. And they're doing a turn to port, crossing over the fleet, trying to evade the AMRAMs. That's a beautiful view. And it looks like they might have landed on the Kuznetsov at uh, very high speeds. I'm not sure how realistic that is, but they did evade the AMRAMs. The Aleutian Il-78 uh, still appears to be going strong. Um, our Runaby Air Group is down to its final sidewinders here uh, and targeting um, more of these missiles. Okay, and that's them fully expended. May as well send them on with their uh, Mausers, try and gun down the missiles if they can. Okay, another missile group knocked down. And uh, this group up here, they have got one Sidewinder left. Yep, target this group here. They're fully expended on Sidewinders. So they've done a pretty good job so far, those aircraft of uh, knocking things down. May as well get them to try and engage with their guns. And another missile downed. Okay, and this group engage with guns. Okay, we've got uh, the MiG-29 crossing the coast, being chased by an AMRAM, and shot down, bringing our tally to eight aircraft, with another AMRAM going uh, out towards the Kuznetsov. So we'll get this uh, aircraft to put on its Raven radar, see if we can improve its detection of air contacts in particular. Still got four AMRAMs left and we have another air contact. So we'll target that. Down to two AMRAMs now. Okay, these air groups are doing a pretty good job targeting the missiles. There's another detection, but we don't really need to worry about that at the moment, off to the, uh, off to the northeast. And it looks like we've got some anti-air missiles targeting our Gripens, which is not uh, not healthy. And uh, one of those Gripens has turned tail and trying to trying to evade. See if we can get him to target his last AMRAM. Okay, we have other Gripens here and getting into a patrol pattern. Uh, we'll move them off to the east. They seem to be almost out of fuel. Okay, how's this group tracking our uh, Gripen's being chased down by some anti-air weapons here. And unfortunately it's shot down. One remaining Gripen down to two Sidewinders. Uh, we'll slow him down for a bit. See how things develop. At Runaby, we still are waiting for a couple of minutes before more aircraft launch. Uh, okay, we've got a number of con air contacts coming in. Our gripe in here will return him to base because he's only got two sidewinders left. Better to get him back and rearmed. MiG-29 group 
back at Stockholm. Uh, we're still waiting a few minutes before the next uh, group of Gripens can launch. Uh, we've got air to air refueling, but we don't need those at the moment. So this is probably a good point um, to bring this particular episode to a close. We're about halfway through this mission, I think, and we'll um, pick up the remainder of the mission in the next episode. So as always, thanks for watching. For more Naval War Arctic Circle content, check out the NATO campaign and Jersey blockade playlists on our channel. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and donate, and stay tuned for the next episode.